re the reliant stars kevin sorbos and what is this movie about well this is my first christian movie that i could say i actually seen in theaters uh i wasn't gonna see this movie but it was a one night thing and i realized you know what i'll just do it just pay the phantom of it cost and it'll be like by myself but i wasn't the only one in this movie this had this was a pretty packed house i'd say probably close to 40 people and then since I get this Cinemark movie pass, it's ten dollars a ticket. But everyone else is paying that twelve fifty. That's a good amount of change for this movie. But what is this movie about? The dollar collapses, riots are going on, and in the meantime, there's kind of a gunfight between you could call it anti-fascists or just people that are just trying to riot. The rioters in a family. So the family goes to the woods. They hide. They don't know where their mother is. They know their dad's dead. They think their mom is dead in the woods they meet some people some old friends are they friends are they the ones that kill the father in the meantime they're questioning guns and god so what i like about this movie i mean the movie is what it's supposed to be the movie knows it's supposed to be for a religious audience and uh pro second amendment people i'm pro second amendment keep your guns just because it's going on with beto o'rourke that's all i'm going to say right there uh but this movie knows what it is it knows what the audience is it knows what type of movie it's supposed to be. It's only on a $700,000 budget. It looks pretty good for a $700,000 budget. There's no soundstage in this movie. It's all in the woods. You could tell, too, because there's natural lighting. There would be scenes where they would be filming it normally, and the lighting would change on a person's forehead. So you know that they are actually doing a good one take of being outside for real and not being on sound stages for this movie. Uh, the writing's all right. There's some funny jokes in this. Uh, some scenarios do make sense and do make you question some things of why this person believes in God, why this person does it, why this person believes in not having guns, why this person does. So there are some good back and forth arguments of what is going on there. Uh, the action is not bad with actual people getting shot. It's not over dramatized. There is some good acting by some of these people. There is some. Not good acting on some of these people, but I can say the best thing about this movie is it knows the audience and it knows what it wants to do. So the bad about the movie, it is very long. There are some scenes where it just basically fades out and you're like, okay, come on. It did have a Lord of the Rings ending of like, where is this movie going to stop? Come on now. Some bad acting, especially there's a uh, is it Sophie or Molly or something like that. She's really bad. She's the one that is very anti-gun because something happens, which there is a good couple of good backstory elements in this film where you're like oh damn i can see why but her acting is pretty bad in this movie about her argument and it does get preachy like there are movies like heaven is for real the great Kinnear movie that is not preachy that it does what it's supposed to do but here there's a lot of pre some over preachy things of between these two sisters to the son uh timmy or jimmy uh it's jimmy but yeah, some of the things they say, they're like, God is always good. And he brings out an argument of like, well, then why are we alive? And they'll say something that you're like, that's a dumb argument. Or they'll say something like, okay, I can see that. But those two characters do very preachy stuff. And it, it does get annoying on some aspects. And then with the gun argument, I'm pro to a, so pro gun amendment. So any argument where they're like, there is a guy like, we should just be... God should uh, help us. And then the guy, I think, has a gun. He's like, is he going to help us uh, if they have a gun and we don't? She's like, but God is good. And he's like, how are we going to protect ourselves if God is good? And it's like something like that. You're like, I mean, they, they do push both narratives. So it's not too preachy, but the two girls are very preachy. So at least they go two folds with how they're trying to tell their story. Uh, some of the acting, like I said, is bad. Uh, it's over long. Some scenarios are kind of ridiculous, but I mean, I knew what I was getting into. It's a fandom event movie based off a book about faith. Literally, the tagline is basically about faith and something else. Protect your family and faith. And you know it's going to have a 2A thing. I think my main issue was with this, this couple behind me in the theater. They were like laughing. You could just tell. I mean, I'll just say they were complete liberals about uh, even maybe like far left liberals of what they were, they were saying. Like everything was like, Oh my god, guns. It's like, you purposely bought a movie ticket to support this movie, to say stupid stuff like that. You're like, just watch the movie and just just, just watch the movie. So I hate 
even just talking to movies in general frustrates the shit out of me. So that was very frustrating. But the Reliant, it was a movie. It was a fine movie. One time, some cheese to it. I mean, but I mean, there it had a decent message to it. Forgiveness. Uh, if you believe in faith or not, the Second Amendment. And I just love how a lot of news outlets are like, "Oh, this is a right wing movie." Like, then what are left wing movies? Why aren't you saying those movies are left wing? You no, you're just. There's only right wing movies now. That's it. There's no left wing movies. Like you can't be like this movie, the left wing movie. Like I'm trying to think of a quick left wing movie I own. Uh, I can't think of one on the top of my head. There's a bunch out there with that push that message, but I don't know. It's one of those ones where you're just like, oh, I, I had one. A lot of Robert Redford movies that he directs are left wing movies, so you can throw those out there. Reliant will receive. Two and a half out of five with Futons because at 50%. So it's the critics' new scores gave this film. No critics, no audience score. So that equals no critic consensus. So let's talk about the critics real quick for a second. Not really critics, but the MPAA. This got an R rating back in 2008. So this finally got a released a year later. How does this movie get an R rating? It, I think it did get switched to a PG-13 for sequences of gun violence or something like that. There is a lot more realistic violence, death, gore, blood in PG-13 movies. There was basically a couple blood, like, you know, blood-draped uh, cloths, blood-draped things for their heads. I, I, you can see there's a gunshot here and there. But this is not an R-rated movie. There is no sex, no language. Speaking of that, there is a silly dream sequence that is kind of, like, laughable. But anyway... Putting an R rating on this is despicable. It really is despicable that it shows the bias. -y. It really does show the bias -y and the BS that you're going to give this movie an R rating. Like, you're crazy. You're crazy. Let me look real quick at a PG-13 movie that's a lot more violent real quick. Doing a quick look, quick look. I have so many movies. Oh. Um... Basically, any Jason Statham movie with uh, the Transporter, a lot more violence than that one. Uh, I'm just trying to think of one with like frantic gunplay that's PG-13. I'm just wasting time now from this, but I'm sorry. But there's a lot of movies out there with frantic gunplay that is PG-13. This one, the gun violence, I would say is maybe, maybe 10 minutes of the whole movie. So it's ridiculous. So do you think my 50%? I mean, I can see people going lower. I really can't. And I can see people going higher. It's basically about how you perceive this movie and what you wanted from this movie. I mean, but it's hard to explain. This movie's tagline, protecting family and faith. So you know what you're getting yourself into. Chase Jack the Boo Futon, like, comment, subscribe. One more thing is Boo Tonotopia, you Boo Tonians. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. My next review coming up. Oh, boy.